Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we have Limit Phone. This can be installed on any Android device. As far as I know, probably you need maybe Android 10 and above in order to install this. That's when the MDM mobile device management solution started, if I recall correctly. But essentially Limit Phone is an application. It's a software blocker that is not only an app. You cannot uninstall this app if you decide to go this route unless you do a factory reset. The way to install it right now is actually by doing a factory reset. So you start, you need to start from a clean slate, but essentially this modifies the whole operating system. It blocks it from the root level so that it doesn't give you access, any back doors. So it's very powerful. So if you're going to try to use it, it's, it's something that's going to help you. And I'm going to go over some of the functionality. So for example, right here, we have YouTube. If I want to go into the settings, I can go into the settings and I can essentially say, okay, I can create breaks. Let's say I want to use YouTube maybe once a day, but I need to wait, or maybe I'm going to use it for 30 minutes. I'm going to use it for 10 minutes, but I need to wait seven days. And the specific one is super hardcore, but you can put it as down as, let's say three minutes, a three minute delay. So whenever you click on block, it's going to say, Hey, you need to wait three minutes for you to use this app. You can also, the settings access this page that you're seeing right here. I have about five seconds right now, so I was able to show you this, but you can go all the way to seven days. So you are not going to be able to reset these settings uh, on a whim. And then you're able to also create some of the website features. Let's say that you want to allow certain playlists or something, maybe a friend sends to you a YouTube video and you want to watch it, but you can also disable them completely if that's not something that is up to, you know, the things that you're actually trying to commit to. So let's go back. And whenever we try to unblock YouTube, it says you must wait three minutes and five seconds to use YouTube temporarily. So even when you try to use YouTube right there, it only gives it to you for 10 minutes. So we're going to unblock it. And as you see right there, the countdown starts. So if I try to go into the YouTube app, it's still going to say you cannot open this app because you need to wait three minutes and five seconds. You can create whatever time frame you want. So, you know, that gives you a little bit of a break. Let's say like, okay, yeah, I need to use this app or I need to use this maybe once or twice a day and I can check it for a limited time period. Here's the limit browser. This one, I put it at five seconds so that we can see it faster. It, it does come with this browser, but this browser also blocks a lot of the links. So let's say I wanna unblock it for 10 minutes. We have to wait five seconds. And then after those five seconds, this limit browser will be available again. Uh, so as you see right here, unblock, there you go. So now I have 10 minutes to use the limit browser. Limit browser is now available and you can go and search whatever it is. So that gives you a little break. That gives you the ability to use the browser for whatever it is. But there are certain groups that are already blocked. So for example, TikTok, let's go to try to TikTok right there. And it will show you the screen in, in a second, but then it will block you completely because the whole point, or I don't even think this is available to here in the United States. Maybe it's just not even going to, to load. Uh, let's see. Let's try it again. Ah, oh, there it is. So it shows you right there the browser, but then it says, hey, it's blocked by Limit Phone because again, you said you did not want to access this. Same thing with Instagram. It shows you the screen first, and then it says, no, no, this is blocked by Limit Phone. You cannot use it. And that is one of the groups that is right now available. So there are different block groups. Uh, there is work news, games, gambling, and adult content that are coming soon. But right now you have the settings for the blocked of the feeds. Uh, Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. So let's go back to the YouTube app. Maybe we can unblock it now. No, nope, we still have to wait one minute and 14 seconds. So you cannot use that app until again, and whenever that time frame that you put, you probably can put it on an hour or, you know, whatever it is that you want, but you still retain applications that are helpful, like WhatsApp or phone, or, you know, if you want to install a specific app, you can also limit the Play Store. There is a little bit of uh, maybe a bugginess right now. They're still trying to figure it out. This is still pretty much in beta. But as you see, the apps that are blocked, they're grayed out. You can open Gemini. You cannot open Instagram unless you go into the limit app and you say, okay, I want to unblock this. I want to have a break. But if you don't allow yourself to have a break, you will not have this unblock feature right here. You will only have it right there. It's blocked, is never allowed. And of course, you can uninstall the app. You can you don't need to have it right there. But if for whatever reason, maybe you need to post something or maybe you work in social media and you say like, hey, you know what? I want to have access to it. I can unblock it for a little bit. Uh, I want to have a break. So you go into the settings and you say, okay, 
I can go into the settings and after a delay of an hour, maybe I'm going to prepare to post, I'm going to prepare to do these things, then I'm going to have 10 minutes of Instagram time accessible to me because that is something that I want to create. You create that habit. You also create those you know, website features. Again, they have those website features. I think the most useful one could be Facebook in the sense that you can keep the marketplace. So if you sell and buy on marketplace, you can keep, keep it on the limit browser. So right there, you go back to the limit browser and you go to Facebook and you go to specific, you know, uh, thing like marketplace, then you're going to be able to use it. But otherwise it's going to say, no, this is blocked by limit phone. So you cannot use it. Now this blocker leverages a lot of the Android operating system. So right now I think the subscription is pretty affordable at $30 a year. It's a pretty modest price to continue the development of this app because I think it can really help you to keep a smartphone. If for whatever reason you cannot use a dumb phone or you know a flip phone, whatever it is that you want, but you need these apps. You can also install it on Android flip phones. So this is kind of like an extra measure to use for your specific device. So you have, again, the browser available to you for 10 minutes, and then you can go back to the limit app and maybe you can block it. Let's see if YouTube is ready. Yep, it's now ready to be unblocked. So it's unblocked for 10 minutes. So, hey, I can go to the YouTube app and I can search up, okay, Jose Briones right there. You can search it up. You can watch the latest video um, right there. Best companion device, uh, the Garmin 4 165 Music. So if you want to watch a video, if you want to kind of have a break on a little bit, it will allow you for those 10 minutes to have that ability to, you know, just go into the app. But then after the 10 minutes, it's now ready to be blocked again. And it's not going to give you that um, ability unless you wait the three minutes and five seconds. And you can make it longer, again, two days, three days. I think a, a good time is like, okay, I'm going to wait an hour. Um, I think that's pretty good. You know, I'll wait an hour to have 10 minutes worth of YouTube time. I think that's a good bargain. It's kind of like, okay, it's one video, it's a short video, or maybe it's a video that my friend sent me that he really wants me to watch, and then I'll be able to use it in that sense. So I think an hour is a, is a pretty good uh, time frame to, to say like, okay, I'm going to use the app for 10 minutes. I'm going to give myself that little break. Um, but of course, there are other solutions, but this is just one solution that I've been able to find and that has been growing in popularity because again, it leverages the Android operating system from the root level. So you cannot uninstall the app. You can, you can set really, really hardcore permissions. You can allow somebody to set it up for you. And yeah, I think it's, it's a great uh, system and uh, leveraging all of the mobile device management things that are allowed. Now, there are a few caveats that I would like to uh, mention. This is a mobile device management, so you're kind of adopting somebody else's software. So make sure that you understand and read everything. I don't see any major red flags and privacy concerns in this case. Uh, in my personal opinion, from what I've read, but of course, always be cautious when it, when it comes to that and, and also ask questions. I think that's, that's the best part, but I think the software is really cool. It's allowing people to get the apps that they need, block the ones that they don't want. And if you need those apps for whatever reason, you can unblock them once you wait a certain time period or just indefinitely just be like, okay, every seven days, I'm going to log in on Facebook for 10 minutes. That's going to be my every seven day commitment. It builds that habit of patience. It builds that habit of waiting for something and it creates a better relationship, of course, with, with apps that may be abusing or trying to trick your attention. Um, this can be installed again on any, essentially any Android device. So just check it out, check out the website and see if it's for you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.